So what I have here is an H takes two plus. There are two electrodes, one longer, one shorter. So longer one goes inside the well of the well plate, shorter one goes on top of the insert or top of the membrane. So first I added, this is a Corning 3460, 12-well trans-well system. Again, this is Corning 3460. So I added 500 microliters on top of the insert and 1.5 ml inside the well plate or well of the well plate. So when I put the electrode and I checked it visually, so the way I checked it visually is I actually put my head to the same level as the sample, that is same level as the bench, and I found that the volume on top of the insert was not sufficient, so I added 500 microliter more. So now it becomes 1 ml on top and 1.5 ml in the basolateral side or inside the well plate. So I have 1 ml on top of the insert and 1.5 ml inside the well of the well plate. That time I could see that the both the electrodes were in the liquid and a measurement could be taken. So once I make sure the volume was fine, I was able to get a stable readout. So when you connect it to the EVOM3, you should be able to see a stable readout. So with the Corning 3460, with with one XPBS, I was able to get a readout of 127 ohms. 